Confused about how lockpicking works in Starfield? Don't worry, I was too, and I'm going to show you how to do it so you'll be picking locks with ease. So first, to pick locks, you need digipicks. You can buy them, pickpocket them from NPCs, or loot them around the environment. Once you have one and you find a lock container, press E or A on the controller to start lock picking. Here in the center, we see two rings with gaps and four circles with slots to the right. The objective is to fill in the gaps of the rings with these slots on the right. Cycle through the circles using Q and T buttons or the right analog stick. Rotate the slots until you find the correct orientation for these gaps. Then start the digipick. But wait, before you do, just because it can fill the gaps doesn't mean you should slot them in. Even novice locks are deceptively tricky if you don't plan ahead. Let's take this example. These two slots here fit into these gaps. So let's use the digipick. All right now, hmm, it seems like we're in a pickle here. I have four gaps left on the outer ring, but none of the circles have four slots. And you need to complete the outer ring in order to advance to the inner ring. You can undo a move by hitting R or X on the controller at the cost of one digipick. So if you're pretty far into the lockpick and you realize you made a mistake, it could cost a lot of digipicks to undo that mistake. Alternatively, you can exit and get a new lockpick puzzle to solve instead. So to get it right, Take note of all the slots and the gaps, and find which ones fit all the gaps in the outer ring. And then look for and orient the slots that will fit in the inner ring. Once you're confident, start the digipick, and if you're right, the lock will open and you can loot everything inside. There's also the auto slot feature, where the game will pick the slots for you. You'll get an auto slot after successfully picking a few locks. If you want to lock pick harder locks, you will need to level up your security skill. With harder locks comes with more slots, more rings, and more gaps to fill. Something the auto slot feature might be useful for. At rank 2 security, the rings will turn blue if you find slots that fit in the ring. But that doesn't mean you should slot them in as you see from this example. The rings won't change color if the slots don't fit, so at least you'll know which ones are completely useless. Something I like to do when I land at a city or a settlement is to run to the nearest store and see if they have any digipics in stock because you can never have too many. Now that you know how to pick locks in Starfield, you can loot to your heart's desire. In the meantime, if you want to know more about Starfield or Star Citizen, I recommend you watch this video right here.